Hello guys! If you are just now joining us, my name is Luke. And I'm Kiana. And we are Midwest Money Makers, together the two of us. And today we're going to be talking to you about opening your own eBay store. As we're about to be married, um, we're going to go ahead and combine our stores. And we thought this would be a wonderful time for you guys to go ahead and join us. And so today we're going to go through the process of actually creating our own seller account and then opening up a store. And we'll tell you guys about the two differences to this. You guys are coming along with us. So uh, as you can see on our screen, we've opened up the eBay customer service and I literally just Google searched, what did I say? Like, Set up eBay store. Set up eBay store. So it'll bring you up to this page. And so, so we're gonna set up a business account. Midwest Money Makers. Guys, this is pretty self-explanatory. Um, obviously, you put in your business name. Ours is gonna be Midwest Money Makers. Hopefully, it's not taken. Um, and then we're gonna input our email and a password where our business location is. And then clearly, if you are selling, you would not check mark this because this says, I only want to buy on eBay. I don't want to sell. And we're gonna sell. Okay, so if you just made your account, looks like they're gonna verify your email. So go to your email address, find that code, put it in. Easy enough. <laughs> yes. Gonna verify it, username is optional. Do we want to put one in, babe? So, that one's all yours. That was been taken. Should we do capital M's? Sure. I don't, I don't even know it if it'll show up different. Because, it, yeah, I think your username's always... Lowercase. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Either way, I think it makes it look a little more professional. <laughs> uh, yes, my business is legal entity, you know, I manage my business as a sole proprietor owner, which we do. We're not affiliated to anybody. This is really interesting because the last time I set up an account, it was just my personal. I never set it up as a business, so this is interesting. This is all brand new. Okay, so this is gonna again, again be more personal information. So this will be blocked out, but pretty, um, understandable stuff. You're just going to fill out your name, your address, and um, social security apparently. So we'll get back to you when we fill this out. Four. This is Corey, a longtime friend of Kiana's and current roommate. And she just interrupted our video recording with a yawn. There will be pain. Right now. <laughs> like right yeah, okay. but you're good. Yeah, it's actually live. <laughs> yeah, we're streaming. Okay, guys, so I think once you fill out that information, you have your seller account set up, and then it's gonna ask for your phone number. Oh no, she's gonna yell on. It's gonna ask for your phone number and s send you a verification code, which we went ahead and put in. Um, and now we're gonna add our bank account. Okay guys, so we finished our bank account info and now we are in the review and confirm. Well, yeah, you first should, I first should some mention. So eBay's gonna ask for your like, you can search for your bank, but a lot of them, if they're local entities, they're not gonna show up, so they're gonna ask for your routing number and your account number. And uh, the way that they're gonna verify that is by actually putting in a couple micro deposits, and that will basically link your banking account to your eBay account. And the reason why they do this is so that they use that information to process your payouts and also uh, pay for shipping. Well, no. No. You just do that through your payouts. But regardless, you're gonna have to put in your your banking information and then they verify it with micro deposits. So now, if you've done all that, it's gonna ask for all this information and then you're in a review and confirm page at this point. It, that, was, that was pretty easy. It took us, what, what's on there right now? 17 minutes, maybe 15 minutes. 
minutes are interruptions. Five you, minutes. You know who you are. Now we've created our account. So if you have just a seller account, I believe if this was the way that it was when I first made one. I don't remember if it's the same, but from my recollection, you should have 50 free listings just as a seller account um, or a business account. But what you can do on top of that, which we're going to do right now. And that's 50 free listings per month. Good, good point. Yeah, per month. Um, beyond that, they start charging you. 35 cents a listing. Yeah, it was 35 cents a listing beyond that. So uh, you can do that. I would honestly recommend doing that to start off. Use those 50 free listings. See how it goes. Sell things that are around your house see if it works for you. Um, and if you start to like it, if you want to do more, looking to start doing a store subscription, which is what we're going to go ahead and do right now. So we're going to select a store subscription. And I, I believe this is also just going to be linked to your banking account. So um, this or is going to go ahead. Your, your payouts. Yeah. So it'll charge you Either monthly or yearly, depending on the subscription. Yeah. So it looks like a starter gives you 250 monthly listings, both as fixed price inserts. And what that means is buy it now listings versus free auctions. Um, and I guess this is specific towards collectibles and fashion. Um, I'm not sure what that means, but uh, yeah. And then this is a good thing to keep in mind, your final value fee. This is what eBay is going to take out of your cost. So for instance, just thinking about if I sold a $10 item, they're going to take 15% out of that. So that's one, one and a half dollar. So I'm actually netting $8.50. And I think... Minus what you paid for the product. Right. If you bought it to flip. Yeah, cost of goods. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, the other stuff, this other stuff, fixed uh, price insert, uh, I believe that's towards specific things. Kiana, what do you think? Should we do a basic store? A thousand listings per month? I think we should start with basic. I don't imagine we're going to do over a thousand listings in a month. But well, we can always upgrade. We can always upgrade. Which that's a good point to make here. We, you can always upgrade. Because we're gonna do this for a long time, we're gonna go ahead and do a yearly subscription. It just makes most sense for us. Enter your store name. I think we gotta keep with the brand, you know? There we go. We made a store. We made a store. You have successfully subscribed to a basic store. You'll receive an email confirming your subscription shortly. Your yearly subscription begins today and will be renewed on May 1st, 2023. Your current active listings will appear in your new eBay store. So I don't know what this is, but let's click it. Set up eBay store. Um, add a banner. So I guess we could add a, a billboard. We could take a nice little picture and a logo which we'll get on those things, but for now we don't really need them. I guess here's what we'll say pertaining to the video. Click the link in the description <laughs> and go check out our store. Yeah, right after we get done with this, we're actually gonna go film. I'm gonna have Kiana do this. She's gonna talk you through listing your first item. <laughs> you got it, it'll be easy. But yeah, we'll show you how to list something and uh, it'll be great. And you guys can, we're, we're gonna get to show you just like tracking a couple of the items that we even just sourced yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, yeah, most of this other stuff, I might do another video if you guys are interested. Um, hit the like button if you are and leave a comment down below. Otherwise, I'm just gonna do this on my own time. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, I hope this helped you guys and um, if it did, consider subscribing. If you want to keep building your store. Yeah. Watch our videos. Have a great day. 
Deuces!